Hello, everyone, and welcome to VMblog's coverage of the VMware Explore 2023 event taking place in Las Vegas at the Venetian. And today we're joined by Andrew Silva, Technical Marketing Manager at Zerto. Andrew, thanks for joining us today. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Let's start things off, if you would. Maybe just give us a quick overview of Zerto. Yeah, so uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Zerto, uh, we were founded in 2009, really with the goal to help customers achieve always on and always available businesses. And and since our inception, we've grown our business to over 9,500 customers and thousands of partners. And this ultimately led to our acquisition by HPE in 2021, becoming the leader in the disaster recovery space. And talking about the uh, VMware Explore, um, how do you guys partner with VMware and where do you fit into the ecosystem? Yeah, that's a great question. So Zerto is an independent software vendor for VMware. And so we've invested in providing data protection solutions for on-premise VMware and VMware Cloud. And we're really following that VMware partner application software integration program uh, VMware has. And, you know, talking about your, your partnership with VMware, uh, you know, at the show, it's VMware Explore. It's going to be a lot of uh, attendees who are VMware users. Can you talk about the types of problems that Zerto is solving specifically for those VMware users and maybe, you know, why show attendees should be extremely interested in visiting the Zerto booth? Absolutely. So um, Zerto really focuses on some of the top issues our VMware customers are facing. And, and we've really seen those to be ransomware resilience, disaster recovery, and multi-cloud mobility. So we're focused on these areas to ensure our data, our, our customers can have um, an uninterrupted business, right? And all of this is based on the foundation of our continuous data protection. Right, and this this is a space that Zerto has really pioneered and been a market leader for for over a decade. So we have some exciting new features that we just released in Zerto 10, such as our real time encryption detection. So I think seeing what we've just announced, make sure to drop by our booth, and we're at booth number 302 uh, at, on the show floor. So maybe you can give us a rundown of your company's technology offerings, you know, kind of go into a, a little bit finer detail of what it does exactly. Yeah. So like I mentioned earlier, we're the pioneers of continuous data protection. We've really made a lot of innovations around the technology that we've brought to our product with our latest re release. And uh, I'll kind of dive into what we brought. We brought um, our inline uh, encryption detection where we're able to really detect anomalous behavior as it's occurring. And then we've also bring, brought some security advancements as it relates to data protection with our cyber resilience vault. Now, there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, vendors on the show floor. It's a pretty big expo hall. Can you uh, give, give us a couple bullet items? What 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 is it that makes Zerto unique uh, or its technology differentiated in the market? Yeah, so it's a few things, right? I know I keep hitting on C us being the pioneers of CDP, but that's really a core element. We've built on top of this. And I also mentioned we, we released some new features within Zerto 10, um, but really being able to detect anomalous encryption uh, activity as it's happening, it's really the earliest warning sign that maybe an organization's facing a ransomware attack or other type of, um, you know, malicious activity going on. Right. So that's probably that, that's one of the new differentiators we've brought to the market. Um, and as far as I know, we're the only ones able to deliver that. Um, another thing is really our cyber resilience vault. Right. And what our vault is doing is it's not just that immutable vaulting uh, storage target that is really your traditional vault. We're combining those vaulting capabilities with an isolated recovery environment. And this is really designed to uh, allow rapid recovery and also meet the data protection needs that some of the strictest regulatory compliance organizations are uh, having organizations adhere to these days. So I know you've announced some of your, uh, that you have a new release, but is there something that your company has recently announced that you could kind of give us some highlights of? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the The biggest thing is it's security focus. Security is, you know, a big need of all of our customers. And what we've released in Zerto 10 is 
all about security, our encryption detection, right? That anomalous, that anomalous behavior uh, detection that's happening in real time, um, our, our resilience fault, right? These are two uh, areas that Zerto is really focused on that we're, we're really expanding and delivering new capabilities uh, to our customers. And I think we're really innovating in these spaces when it comes to uh, these type of security offerings from data protection vendors. Andrew, I know uh, that the Zerto 10 was a huge release for you you guys, uh, you know, this year. So I look forward to uh, coming by your booth and, and learning more about that as well. Uh, as, as we head into 2024, what are some of the big themes or trends that you and Zerto are kind of tracking? Yeah, so I think AI is at the top of everyone's mind. Right. You have the rise of chat GPT. You have all these other vendors coming out. It's AI, AI, AI. Right. And if anybody's played around with uh, with any of these AI tools. Right. Well, one thing we know about AI is it's only as intelligent as the data it has access to. Right. So having good quality data that you're able to produce is extremely important for any type of AI tools to be able to leverage. So we're definitely we're, we're definitely thinking about how this plays into our solution, being able to provide high quality usable data that can feed into uh, solutions like uh, like various AI and, and ML tooling. And I guess uh, lastly, maybe uh, we could take a quick look at your product firsthand, see a demo. Absolutely. So, um, what what I want to walk you through today is really an overview of kind of our encryption detection and kind of show you what that looks like within uh, the Zerto dashboard. How we so I'm going to walk you through kind of in a uh, uh, we'll call it a, a ransomware scenario, right? Um, and and we'll kind of see how Zerto picks up that detection or that anomalous behavior within the dashboard and how you see that. All right, you should see my screen. So what I'm gonna walk you through today is kind of a simulated encryption event um, where we're able to trigger some alarms and alerts within the Zerto dashboard, really highlighting our real-time uh, encryption detection or ransomware detection. So let's go ahead and kind of initiate um, kind of an attack. So we can see this really quick and then we can look through how we go through that recovery process. So just kind of logging onto the file server, we have our documents that we access on a daily basis. We have some other documents. Um, they're actually just the same documents, but uh, we have our files that we, we open up, we can access, everything is hunky-dory uh, in work world. But we have a user that clicks on an application that has been compromised. So in this case, uh, the user has executed uh, a malicious file and we've seen that all of the files have been encrypted, including maybe some backup, local backup data they have as well. So right now we are in a world of hurt. We're not able to complete our job functions. Um, there's just a, a lot of a lot of things going through the customer's head, still trying to open up the business app, but unfortunately nothing is working. So this is where we kind of dive into uh, the Zerto interface. So if we just wait a moment, we should see some alerts that come through momentarily. So as we have just been executing that encryption event, we can now see anomalous uh, behavior has taken place. So right on the main dashboard, we're easily able to identify what VPGs or virtual protection groups have been compromised, as well as uh, the VMs, uh, the hosts, um, and all of the associated information um, with these resources. So let's go ahead and try to initiate a recovery. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna initiate a file level recovery. So we're gonna recover those files um, to the compromise that back uh, from a compromised state. So let's go ahead and hit next. Okay, as we see here, we see okay some uh, suspicious activity, right? Um, I know my my uh, my time clock is a little off, so bear with me. But from here, we're able to see 
when these uh, suspicious encryption activities took place, and then also checkpoints prior to those suspicious activities uh, that are recommended restore points. So we can either choose the recommended restore point, and that's really going to be the closest restore point um, to, uh, I, I guess, the, the next closest restore point from that suspicious activity. So let's go ahead and just recover back from this state. We're going to go ahead and select this uh, checkpoint from the journal. We're going to mount uh, the disk. So we're going to go ahead and put this in a state where we're able to browse. We can see that all the actions are actually happening um, within vSphere. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go navigate back to the volume where those files need to be recovered to. We're go ahead and navigate there, back to the desktop files, and we can see all those files that were, were in our documents folder. So we're just going to go ahead and restore all of this data right here, and we're going to choose this to be the original location. We're going to hit start, and now we've officially initiated the file recovery process. So what we're doing now is we're, we're taking that data from the journal and we're putting that back into a recovery location uh, in the same spot is where the compromised data was. So when we log back in here, we'll see AZ restored. This is going to be where the restored clean versions of that data are going to reside. That you, Once this uh, process completes, you'll be able to access that data and then go on with business as usual. It just takes a few minutes, so uh, I'm not gonna hang on the entire time, but that's really gonna be the destination location. Once uh, all these activities complete, you'll be able to simply uh, then complete the file of restore and move on with business as usual. So thanks for that great demo. Uh, where can people go if they wanna find out more information about some of the things you talked about today? and uh, get a better look at the product. Yeah, so there's a couple great places to go. I mean, if you're at VMware Explorer, we're at booth 302. We're gonna have live demos there, so you're able to actually see what we're doing uh, in this demo and more at the booth. Uh, if you wanna to try to get your hands on a demo and for yourself, you can go to zerto.com slash labs, and you can spin up an on-demand lab, um, just simply create a login and you're able to access all these same same things we just went through today. Awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog, and we look forward to seeing you guys at the show. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.